Over the last 40 years, evidence suggests that vertebrate populations have declined by over 50%. It is very important for future generations to be able to see all the diversity that exists. We need to act right now before changes are irreversible. We are based in Quito, Ecuador. We are sequencing the brown-headed spider monkey's genome. And we're part of the Org 1 pilot project in order to sequence endangered species. Right now, conservation efforts need genetic diversity information regarding these species. And if we don't have a reference genome in order to develop molecular markers, we won't be able to know what the genetic status of this species is. Now we have only five ancient king fossils in Thailand. So we have to take action as soon as possible before its status is changed from the critically endangered to extinct. We are currently assembling the data. We wish to use this to select the healthy and related breeding stocks and collect the semen and ova of these breeding stocks for the in vitro fertilization. As part of the Org 1 project, we are working to sequence tea tree fingers. The results we're getting is really encouraging. We certainly have caught at least one genome from one of our individuals, which is a great start to be able to understand the fungi and try and find other populations. We are working with toads of the genus Antelopus. Those toads are located mostly in tropical forests and highlands along the Central and South America. We have the opportunity to obtain the complete genome with nanopore technology. If we can understand how the genomes of those organisms have changed through that process, it provides tools and insights that means that the conservation program itself might be more successful in the long run. The Oxford nanopore technologies really interesting because it allows sequencing to be done in situ. The nature of Oxford Nanopore Technologies is very important for us. As a developing nation, we do not have access to other sequencing tools. Without sequencing genetic data, everything we would be attempting would be ill-informed or uninformed. The MINI that I sequence on is the most adaptable sequencing technology that I've ever used. We're all working together and making the best of the technology. Since the genome of uh, several endangered species has not yet been sequenced, the more scientists to join this project, the better for those species. 